Hi everyone, welcome to Pretty Princess Magical Garden Island. Before we get into this game, I do just want to say thank you to Numskull Games for sending me this game when it first came out on the Switch last year, I think it was. I'm super late playing this game because I had a bunch of stuff going on last year so I didn't get around to it. But this is a really cute game that's massively inspired by Animal Crossing, as you'll see as we get into it. I don't actually know too much about this game, so this is really going to be my first impressions. And we're just going to play around in the game, see if it's worth a buy, and see how much like Animal Crossing it is since you guys know how much I love Animal Crossing. I'm always on the lookout for games just like Animal Crossing because that's the sort of game I love to play. So this one looks really cute. Obviously very feminine which is the best. I love the long name for this game. Pretty Princess Magical Garden Island. It's such a long name. So cute though. <laughs> and honestly this looks like a game that I would have fallen in love with as a kid so I'm really excited to get into it. So thank you again to Numbskull Games for sending me this and let's get into the game. Salutations. Welcome to the world of Pretty Princess. Oh my gosh, they didn't give me long to read that at all. Lulu, is it? What a pretty name. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that either. <gasps> well, that wasn't very good. But anyways, oh my goodness. Isn't this character design so cute? So first we need to choose some eyes. I think I'm going to go with these ones. There are six skin colours to choose from. So we have cotton candy. We have happy buns. Long and glamorous. Wow. We have elegant layers. A twirled fish braid. I love that all these hairstyles are long because I have long hair and I can never ever find hairstyles like mine in games but all of these are like my hair um, except this one I suppose. So yeah I'm really happy about that. My hair is on the curlier side so I'm choosing between long and glamorous or cotton candy. This is a tough decision. I do have ringlets in real life so now my hair colour I get to choose. I'm very happy because they actually have my hair colour. A lot of games don't do the right type of brown for me but this one does. And my eye colour looks like you have to choose between caramel, chocolate, grey, black, red, yellow, green, and blue, which is my eye colour. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Okay, so this is our character. Let's get into the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now enjoy your enchanting princess life. Some time ago, Lulu chased a rabbit she saw in a park and ended up in a land of magic. There she met the butler, Asbel, who was searching for a princess to revive Lapping Castle. So Lulu used the power of her magical bracelet, the proof of her status as a princess, and brought Lapping Castle back to its former beauty. Lady Lulu, wake up Lady Lulu! How cute is this bunny character? Am I dreaming? Hmm? Did I say something strange? I'm Asbel, your butler, Lady Lulu. And this place is the magical, jewel-like, shiny and sparkling, ever-beautiful Lapping Castle's library. It looks like you fell asleep while studying, Lady Lulu. Are you awake now? Ah, Lulu, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. Oh my goodness. Are these our friends? Howdy there, Lulu, Asbel. Um, who is this? Oh, no way. You've forgotten me. It's me, Laura. Laura? Do you remember me? I'm Charlotte. I'm Katrina. Do you remember? Uh, well, Lady Lulu has been dozing until this very minute. Oh, you're just a bit sleepy. My, you gave us a scare. Whatever are you two studying in here anyhow? Since she's now the princess of Lapping Castle, Lady Lulu wants to learn more about her own country. Ah, Asbel, you knocked something over. A picture? Oh my, what an old picture. Look, it's Carrot Isle. You mentioning Carrot Isle reminds me of all the great food there. Ah, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. That's right, a princess cake made of Carrot Isle fruit is especially delightful. Wait a minute, by princess cake, you mean one of the world's free legendary cakes? Yes, that's right. In any case, why don't we try going to Carrot Isle right now? Yay, that's a wonderful idea. I want to eat some princess cake there. It's decided. We're on our way. Let's go, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> I love how I couldn't remember these people a second ago and all of a sudden we're all travelling together. <laughs> ah, this is nice. Thanks for navigating, Hasbell. I am the butler, after all. Now, over here is Carrot Isle. Whoa. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? It's just like Resident Services and Animal Crossing, but like insanely cute version. The island is very similar as well. <laughs> oh my, aside from Rabbit House built long ago, there's nothing else around. Um, so that means the princess cake is... Unfortunately, Carrot Isle no longer has the recipe, ingredients or shops, so we can't have it. Then should we all make a princess cake together? Yeah, great idea, but... How exactly do we make one? We need the recipe and ingredients for the princess cake. Well, I guess we're out of luck. <laughs> Wait, if we restore the island to its former abundance, we can get the recipe and the ingredients. Then we can make the princess cake. 
Are you telling me we're gonna remake this entire island just for some cake? Restore the island? <laughs> I guess we do have Lulu after all. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just gonna do everything while you guys laze around. <laughs> That's right, Lulu's power splendidly restored Lapping Castle, so I'm sure she can splendidly restore Carrot Isle as well. So once the hour is revitalized, we'll be able to make the princess cake again. Alright, I'm so fired up. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> Hooray, if Lady Lulu says so, then I'm sure we can make it happen. I didn't actually say we'd be successful, but... That's okay. Now that everything is settled, let's go to Rabbit House. The tools we used before should be there. It looks like there's a dress in there. Would you like to try it on? What? I get to dress up? Oh, you can change outfits at Rabbit House. Oh my gosh, is this a dress up game? Next, select fashion with the A button. Okay, easy enough. This time we'll do a special automatic change. Here we go. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, that's really, really cute. I love the clovers. I mean, it's not really my style, but it is very cute. Wow, looks like you're done changing. This suits you, Lulu. Huh? I don't see Asbel anywhere. He was here a second ago. Well, where did he go? Lady Lulu, please come over here. I found something great. What could it be? Let's check it out. I love that we start off with all these princess friends. And just the cutest little bunny. I found a basic recipe. Okay, the Animal Crossing vibes are strong with this one. Let's see, you're wearing it. If you'd put the magic bracelet near the recipe, Lady Lulu. There, now you've learned a basic recipe. Well, what does it make? give you easy to use tools like this hoe. It's a magic recipe. I just found this wheat seed. Since we're here, let's try and use our tool magic and plant some seeds. We need to till the soil to make a field for the seeds we want to plant. So we just need to click on our tools, use the hoe. Oh my goodness, it's a cute one. And now we can till the soil. <laughs> Next, let's plant the seeds. There's a lot of tutorial in this game. Okay, if you're a kid and you've never really played games before, this would be incredibly easy to play because they're explaining absolutely everything to the most basic detail. Not so fun for me because obviously I've played a lot of games in my life so I'm like why are you telling me how to press the A button for the 12th time? I know how to press the A button but <laughs> but if you've never played a game before or you're just a little kid this probably is really helpful. So there we've spread the seeds. We planted the wheat seed and soon it will grow. Since this is the first time we'll speed up the wheat's growth. Wow it's very sparkly. Ta-da! <laughs> very simple easy farming mechanics. Wonderful, you harvested some fine wheat. Now, what should we do with it? Kara Isle can't be revived with wheat alone. Hehehe, <laughs> leave that to us. We thought that before we left, didn't we, Asbel? That's right, before leaving for Kara Isle, we told everyone around the castle to come visit. Some of the early visitors have already sent in some requests for things they want, be it food or anything else they desire. Well then, let's go take care of those requests. Right, seems we have a request for eggs. If it's eggs we're after, we need to get them from chickens. Are there chickens around here? I haven't seen one anywhere. I believe that basic recipe is for Cluck Cluck Coop, where the chickens can live. You constructed Cluck Cluck Coop. The chickens are inside. Huh? There doesn't seem to be any eggs. They seem a little listless too. Perhaps they're hungry. Let's try giving them some of the wheat you grew. In the barn, you can feed the animals and receive gifts in return. Chicken is happy you gave us some wheat, but the truth is it'll be some time before you get an egg. But because it's your first time, I'll have Miss Chicken work really hard and give you an egg in an instant for the purposes of the tutorial. And now we have an egg. Awesome. Wow, we got a warm, freshly laid egg. Let's go fulfill that request. And now we've completed the first quest. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Did you see the two numbers in the upper right corner of the screen go up? Lumina is the crystallized root of magic. It's gained by granting requests, selling items, and greeting others. You can use it to buy seeds and learn recipes for decor and outfit items, so think carefully before you use it. Gratitude points are gained by fulfilling requests you've received. Collecting these points will raise the princess's level, the happiness level, which in turn allows the princess to do more things. When you fulfill a request, you receive Lumina and Gratitude points. As our points increase, you'll earn more recipes, and as you fulfill more requests, you'll be able to do more things. I know, we'll all open up a shop on the island. Yes, that's a brilliant idea. In that case, I'll sell seeds and saplings at the green shop. I'll open a boutique that will sell dresses and accessories. I love sparkly things. Let's see, I'll open a fun decoration shop. I'll sell items to liven things up with. I think I'll open a shop where you can sell different items for Lumina. Where did you come from? <laughs> oh my, Claire, you came to Carrot Isle too? You could have come with us. Instead, you drove the boat all by yourself. I did. Oh, Lady Lulu, I have some things that should prove useful to you. Oh, wow, Miss Claire, thank you so much. You've been a real help. So please make this island beautiful and lively. Well then, we'll be at Rabbit House. If you need anything, anything at all, stop on by. Okay, so here we are finally in the game where we can walk around and do things. So we can run, we can walk. The graphics in this game are super cute, right? A little clunky, but really girly and cute. It said you can greet animals and princesses once a day, which gets you points by pressing Y. How cute is that? <laughs> so you can just say hello to everyone. You can also go and 
change your clothes whenever you like. I don't particularly like this dress that they told me to wear, um, so I kind of want to change that. Looks like I started off with like 30 different seeds. So if I go over here, I can probably change my outfit. So I think I want this back and the pink dress back. <laughs> it's much more my style. Super cute. <laughs> Say hello and then talk to her. Katrina, welcome, take your time. You can use Luma and items to learn various outfit recipes. So she sells eyeshadow. Oh, that's cute. Lipstick. Wow. And blush. Oh my goodness, I really want that. And fashion wise, she sells a blue dress, an orange one. Oh, I look a bit like Daisy now. A green one. Oh, wow. And this really frilly blue one. Different shoes and stuff, unfortunately. Oh, wait, you can just press this to hide it. Okay, that's a lot better. I was gonna say, you can't even see the shoes. But then you can buy new shoes. You can also buy different tiaras and different hair accessories. Looks like we can't get any of those right now though. So let's see on our challenges. So these are like Nook Mall rewards in Animal Crossing. <laughs> you can see the inspiration here. If you've played Animal Crossing, this is very similar. In books, you can see all the outfit and decor items you can get. So this is our catalog. There's 19 different buildings. Oh, there's a lot of decor items. And obviously there's a bunch of clothes you can collect as well. So if we talk to Asbel, he will show us the requests. So these are things we need to do right now. Someone wants a yellow seashell. I wonder if we can just go find that. Timber, rock salt, crystals, and corn. I think we do actually have corn seeds. So if we get our tools out, use the hoe, and we can do some more farming here. Mix some more soil to grow seeds in. And now we can choose our seeds. And yeah, we do have 10 corn seeds. So we can plant these here. Looks like they'll take five minutes to grow. It's just not too long unless it's five hours. Oh no, it is minutes. Who is this? They've come over to talk to us. This is Frederick. Hello, this aisle is much bigger than I expected. Looks like there's a lot for me to research. Are you like the blathers of this game? Everyone's a bunny in this game, which is adorable. So we have this whole island to explore. I will say something I'm not particularly enjoying is the character's movement in this game. She walks really like strangely. It's not very pleasant to walk. <laughs> That's as simple as I can describe it. It just feels weird. For me personally, there seems to be too much of a difference between the walking speed and the running speed. It just seems like massively different. Um, I think there should be like an in-between. Maybe that's just me being picky though. <laughs> One thing I will say that I like about this game is that you can control the audio levels, which you can't do in Animal Crossing and it's something that does bother me. Um, I'm someone that's quite sensitive to loud music in games and just different sounds being a bit too much or irritating. And what's cool about this game is you can completely turn the music off. If it's annoying you, you can make it really loud if you like. Or you can have it at a lower level, which I personally like. I was thinking while I was playing that audio was a little bit too loud and I was really happy that I was able to change that. Another thing is there are a lot of loading screens, but the loading screen is very quick. Like you saw that little animation there. It was very simple and easy. It's very, very cute. I'm definitely getting massive anime vibes from this game. And just so girly. Like if I had a little niece, I do have a younger niece, but she's a little bit too old for this sort of thing, I think. But if I had maybe like a, a very young niece, I would definitely buy her this game. I mean, I've only played it for like 20 minutes so far. So it's yet to be seen whether there'll be any longevity to it. But a little girl would absolutely love this game. Looks like our corn is done. So we can harvest this now. I think that means we should be able to turn in two different requests now, the corn one and the seashells, if I manage to collect the right seashell anyway. I love the little bunny rabbit villages. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? I wish I could just live in the world where everyone was cute little rabbits. So now we can turn in the requests. So we can turn in this one. Here you go, here's your seashell. Ta-da! <laughs> That's very satisfying. And also the corn. Oh, and I think we're leveling up. Yay! <laughs> and more items are now available at the store. Lady Lulu, you've reached happiness level too. You did it, Lulu. That's amazing. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, it looks like your magic bracelet can perform more functions. Hmm, looks like you've learned some new cooking recipes. In other words, if you raise your level, you eventually learn the recipe for that princess cake. Wait, there are other new features, such as... Here, you can now use an axe from the tool menu. That means you can cut down trees, which means I'll have more room for shops and decor in my own store. But if you cut down too many trees, you won't be able to get timber anymore, so you should probably be careful about that. If you don't want to chop down a tree, you can hit it with a hammer to get timber. Well, if you do cut down all the trees, my store sells tree saplings, so don't worry too much about it. 
Oh, and I'm also selling new seeds and saplings, so take a look sometime. My store has new makeup and fashion items, if that strikes your fancy, stop on by. Let's go! I am here for fashion items. Oh my. Look at this dress. It's white and pink and green and flowery. To get it, we need one yarn and... What is this? One yarn and one white dye. How do I get that? I have no idea how we do that. Okay, let's talk to her because I think Charlotte sells... Yeah, Charlotte sells the furniture and things. So here I can get buildings, a craft shop, a creamery. Oh, we only need three pieces of wood and we'll be able to make this. A spicery, a bar bar barn, moo moo manor. <laughs> oh, this is... It looks like a clothing shop. We need red scale and blue scale. I have no idea what that is. I think we should go around and just like try use our tools on different things. So they said if I just want to get wood from the tree without cutting it down, I can just use the hammer, right? Oh, can I only hit it once? Oh, okay. So yeah, you can only hit the tree once in this game. Once every two minutes. Everything is timed, like this was meant to be a mobile game. Do you guys get that vibe from it? Yes? What would you like? Why is she shouting my name? What is it? Good day, Lady Lulu. There's so much to discover on the island. It's so much fun. Oh, was that it? Okay. <laughs> oh. I thought she was going to ask me to do something. But yeah, this does remind me of an app. You guys know how when you play these sorts of apps and everything's timed, so they make you come back to do it later but I think it's timed so it's sort of like Animal Crossing where it keeps you playing for a long time that sort of thing I also saw some stuff down by the beach like little rocks that I think we can maybe interact with with this yeah so that gave us rock salt what about this and um, this gives us gold I love how cute the tools are <laughs> The thing that lets you know this isn't a mobile game is there is no energy meter because that's how mobile games get you because they make you pay real money for the energy. Um, this island is actually huge though. Oh my god, and it's also eerily laid out exactly like my Animal Crossing island. Oh my goodness, there's lemon trees over there. What? Okay, so I'm guessing it's some- oh, There's a villager! Little guy, are you okay? Well, at least we know he has something to eat, because he has the lemons. What does the basket do? While holding the basket, you can harvest things around you. Oh, so you can, like, continuously harvest. Oh, that's cool. It also just looks really cute, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so I don't really know how we get that stuff. It's possible... Oh, there's different fruit trees over here as well. So I feel like that's something we're going to unlock at some point. We should be able to make the creamery now. And let's ask for the creamery. Let's build this. I'm guessing we have to go over here and then go and design buildings, creamery. Oh, and now we can place it. I think right next to the chicken coop makes sense for now. Let's place it here. First, you want to choose the recipe you want to make, and then after some time has passed, the item will be created. Sometimes I feel like these games give me so much information that it makes it seem way more complicated than it actually is. If I want to make butter, I need milk and salt um how am i meant to get milk and salt <laughs> um i don't know i have no idea oh so we don't actually have a map this literally looks like an animal crossing map <laughs> sorry if i'm talking a bit too much about animal crossing if you're new here to my channel <laughs> and this is your first video of mine i play a lot of animal crossing and that's why i'm playing this game because i wanted to see whether it was like animal crossing it definitely is but I'm really not sure how I feel about it so far. I feel a bit confused. Oh, okay. Let's fulfill this request. He wants some wood and rock salt. This person wants some wood as well, so there you go. It's very satisfying to do the requests. But some of these, I'm like, where do I get these items? That hasn't been explained to me. What? Scale? Where am I meant to get the scale? I don't really get what that is. We can do this one, though, because we did find some gold. Oh my goodness, how cute is that bunny villager? Let's take a screenshot of her, because she's so cute. <laughs> Um, yeah. And all this stuff is scale. I have no idea how you get that. All crystals. Do we need to feed my chickens? I don't have any wheat to feed them, so I should probably grow some. <laughs> I didn't realise the creamery would need me to already have, I'm assuming, a cow. Um, I thought it would maybe give me the opportunity to get a cow. So, that's confusing a bit, because I don't know how we get a cow. But, I think this game is probably very slow-paced. 
So we'll take our time with that, I suppose. For now, I'm gonna grow some wheat. Here we go. Oh, there's a butterfly. I wonder if we can catch that. I can't remember if I saw if we have a net or not. So I'll check that in a moment. I'm not sure what we need grass for, but this game's graphics are really, really cute. <laughs> Really reminds me of a DS game. Okay, so do I have a bug net? Oh, I do. And it's pink with bunny ears. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh. Is that like a weird translation or am I just dumb? Scale means butterflies? Huh? Scale? I've never heard that word used for bugs before. Um, is that just like a weird translation issue? Can you guys tell me? Or is that just like a regular word used for butterfly wings? Is that what it is? Oh man. Well, at least now we know what it is. So I guess it just kind of gives you the freedom to go around and try out your tools and figure out what these things are that you need to collect. I like that. But it was just a little bit confusing because they give you so much information. At the start of the game, they really tell you how to do everything. Which actually I find with a lot of Japanese games, uh, especially the old like Harvest Moon games, they give you so much information that it feels a little bit overwhelming. Um, which they definitely did in the start of this game, but then it just left me being like, wait, so what do I do? <laughs> At some points, because they don't explain like where to get things from. Like it didn't tell me I need to get scale from bugs. But I think maybe that's just my own issue, because I don't didn't know that that's what that meant. I think that means we can make something at the clothes shop, maybe? Do I not have a house, or do we all live inside here? That's very interesting to me. Oh no, so we don't need scale for dresses. Maybe it was for makeup? Oh, you can get new hairstyles, that's cute. So, yeah, you just need dye, but I don't know how you make dye. Oh, we probably need to make a dye shop. I'm silly. I'm just really dumb at these things. So let's go see how we make a dye shop, if that's a thing. Dyed in the wall. Okay, so this is what we need scale for. So we need red and blue butterflies and timber. So we should go around and look for butterflies now and also chop down some more trees. So we definitely have enough timber at least, but I haven't seen any red or blue butterflies around. I'm wondering if I can plant flowers that will attract more butterflies? That could be a good idea. I feel like I'm getting into the groove of this game now. It's pretty fun to hit the trees of a hammer actually. <laughs> it's very addicting. I'm gonna get my net out for if we see butterflies anywhere. But I'm thinking maybe the butterflies only spawned because I was growing crops. Yeah, look, there's a blue one. <gasps> And our wheat is growing! Yay! So let me go talk to the girl who sells seeds. Because maybe she sells like flowers that will- Oh god, I didn't mean to hit her in the head. <laughs> maybe she sells flowers that will attract more butterflies. Crop seed- Oh, flower seeds! Yes, I was right. They cost 10... What is this stuff called again? Lumina? Oh my gosh, I love that you can just buy pink flowers straight up. So I'm gonna buy some pink hyacinths. I'll buy three of those. I'll buy some white ones as well. And I'm going to plant these. Oh, I already had a bunch of flower seeds. See, they didn't tell me that either. Do I have to hoe the ground first? Oh, okay. And now we can plant the flowers. I suppose we could plant some yellow cosmos as well. They'll take five minutes to grow. So I think I might actually grow two more on each side just so it matches up. And then I think I'll buy some more pink hyacinths from her so that it blends in well. So yeah, now we should have some more pink hyacinth seeds. What I will say about this game is, although it looks a little clunky, if you want just a cozy Animal Crossing type game to play, and you ever see this on sale or you can get it for cheap, I'd actually recommend picking this up because this is, it's a really good time waster, which I feel like most people want with cozy games. They just want to spend the evening doing something chill, relaxing and cute. And this is definitely what this game is. It's very relaxing, it's very charming. Very, very, very cute. I just realized you can walk even slower than this, look. You just have to hold ZR, and then she walks even slower. So I guess I was wrong about there being only two speeds. There is three. I just feel like there's a massive difference between this and this. Is this red? Brown. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I think we have enough to build the dye shop. Oh my goodness, we do actually have enough. I feel like we all just live here. I wonder if we get to build a house later on. Um, I think we're going to put the dye- Oh, there's not enough space to put a dye shop here. Hmm, where should we put the dye shop then? The farm is over here, so I don't really want it in the same area as the farm. Maybe over here is a good idea? I think that looks decent. There's a little gap between them. 
<gasps> oh my goodness, the shop is really cute. So yeah, this is where we can make... Oh, this is where we make yarn as well. So we can make dyes here. Okay, so we can actually make dyes to make outfits now. I get it. This game is addicting because you have to make... You have to do something to make something to make something to make something. Which... <laughs> these sorts of games get me playing for hours. Because you have to do a million things to... Do a million things to do a million things to unlock a million things. Um, similar to my time at Porsche where you kind of have to craft like 10 things to craft one thing that does one thing for you. It's very... Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming but it's very addicting. Um, so let's see what we need to buy that dress from her. So if you want this really cute dress, we need one piece of yarn and one piece of white dye. And oh we can get the cute heels that match. That's very cute. If we want that we're gonna need dark dust which I don't know how you get that. Oh I really like this leaf tiara. But for now I think we should focus on getting the wool. So now we need to figure out how to do that. White dye. Oh we have enough to make white dye. Okay let's make that. And oh, oh but how do we make wool? To make yarn we need wool but how do we get wool? From sheep? Which means we need the barbar -bar barn. Oh I just saw a black butterfly. We definitely need to catch that. You see how addicting these games get? Oh my goodness, why can't I not catch this butterfly? <gasps> why? Oh, okay, we got it. They think they do all spawn on these crops. Here's a yellow one. <gasps> Our flowers have grown. That's so cute. So now, <laughs> we need to figure out how to build the barn. We'll have to buy sheep as well, won't we? I don't know. Mumu Manor. Oh, so we need to build Mumu Manor for the cows. So that we need hardwood, which I'm guessing we need the carpentry shop for. Wow, that's crazy. To build Bar Bar Barn we need grass and hardwood timber. Oh, we can build this if we just harvest our grass. Guys, this is so exciting. <laughs> I didn't think, I actually had a bad feeling about this game once I put it on. It's actually very addicting. So now, we have grass. I love that you can just pick buildings up and move them around. Animal Crossing New Horizons could never. You can literally not do this in Animal Crossing. Um, so this is amazing. That's so easy, so good. But now we need to put our barn, which is gonna be super cute next to the chicken coop. It is a little awkward to get it in the right place. Yay! Oh my goodness! What, the cows? Or are they sheep? Huh? Those are definitely cows. Is it just me or are those sheep cows? Guys, I'm a little confused. Let's put <laughs> the creamer next to it. I hope it isn't too traumatic for them. Why is this? It's so awkward to place. I love that we can just move it, but it is a bit awkward to place. That'll do for now, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, now we have this. I'm so confused. That is definitely a cow, isn't it? But anyways, they're very cute. So <laughs> give grass to the sheep to get wool. Those are not sheep. I live in Kent. I live in the English countryside. The place I live is actually famous for the sheep that live here because we have a ton of sheep. Um, and the sheep are adorable. Just the other day I was driving to the shop and I had to stop so that a whole herd of sheep could cross the road into the next field and it was so cute and it was the best like five minutes of my life where I got to see all those really cute sheep. And sheep do not look like this. <laughs> I love the design. Anyways, let's feed them. Apparently that's a sheep. So, we love that. We support all sheep, especially the ones that are cows. I forgot what we were doing because I had to go away and then come back because my recording software crashed. Looks like our dye is done. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so now we're just waiting for this, which is going to take five minutes. We can make our yarn so that we can make a dress. It's a shame these cow sheep don't give milk because they're definitely cows. We can also build the carpenter shop now. Yeah, so we can now build the carpentry shop, which we need to be able to make Moo Moo Manor for the real cows. Which, I'm gonna laugh so hard if these cows look more like sheep than the sheep do. So, <laughs> first we need the carpentry shop. I am actually worrying that we're going to run out of space. Should I put the carpentry shop next to the clove shop? And you can just use it straight away. So yeah, we need hardwood. How much hardwood was it we needed? One thing that's slightly annoying is having to run back and forth between the shopkeeper and everything to figure out what stuff I need. To build the Moo Moo Manor we need three 
hardwood. We're gonna have built all the shops available in this first episode, which is actually decently good because I was worried I wouldn't be able to get anything complete in this first video or actually really show you what the gameplay's like in a short amount of time. I've actually been able to do quite a lot in this short space of time, so we need three of these. And oh, they don't all count down at the same time? So it's gonna take 15 minutes. I don't really know what we can do in those 15 minutes. Um, do you guys think I should cut down this tree? I kind of like that it's hidden behind a tree, but I don't know. I guess we haven't used the axe yet, so we might as well. Oh, you only have to hit it once. That's pretty cool. What does the broom do? Oh, so if you don't like where you place the farm. That's cool. Look how easy it is to just like move things around and if you change your mind about how things look. I love that. Once you've unlocked a bunch of stuff in this game, I bet you can make the island look super gorgeous. Obviously, we've just started out today, so... We just have a couple of flowers in front of resident services. Uh, oh, sorry. Bunny... what's it called? Sorry, I've got Animal Crossing on the brain. What is it called? I actually don't know. Bunny Mansion. We're gonna call it Bunny Mansion. Rabbit resident services? But I am interested about when we can go over there. Because look, there's fruit trees, there's villagers over there. And I'm guessing we're gonna unlock fishing at some point. But really, I'm just here for the dresses. For now, I'm just gonna collect things I can see. <gasps> there are fish! We don't have a fishing rod. Yeah, we're probably definitely gonna unlock it once we get to level 3. So maybe we should do some requests. Oh my goodness, so many. We can easily give these items away. We have a ton of this stuff after all. And the rabbit villagers are all so cute in their little outfits. I love the design. There's these cat characters that are popular in Japan. I forget what they're called, but the design of these rabbits really reminds me of those cats. If I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen. But, oh my goodness, looks like we leveled up to level 3. That was actually really easy. I hope they unlock a fishing rod. That'd be great. Yay! Happy level up. <laughs> That's cute. You've reached happiness level 3. Congratulations, Lulu. Oh, it looks like your magic bracelet can perform more functions. Looks like you've learned new cooking recipes, and you can now use the fishing pole from the tool menu! There've always been fish here, but I don't have a fishing pole so I've never caught any. Since I'm good at swimming, I thought I could catch them that way. Oh, Laura, swimming in a dress is dangerous! There are even more shops and items. That's me thinking <laughs> we've managed to build all the shops, but there's even more shops to unlock. Okay, I feel like I'm addicted to this game already. <laughs> And we've got new crops and new everything. Oh my goodness, it's very exciting. As Belle says, we should aim for happiness level 5. I don't know about you guys, but I want to fish. But for now, let's get the wool. Which means we can finally craft some yarn. But that will also take 5 minutes. So, <laughs> while that's happening... Oh, let's collect this hardware. Um, while that's happening, let's go fishing! Yay! Even the fishing rod is pink and cute! Will the fish notice me? By the way, have you guys seen anyone play this game online? I haven't seen a single person play this game, which is why I think it another reason why it took me so long to play it, because I was like, I haven't heard a single person talk about this game. Oh, we got the fish! Awesome, we got a tuna. Do we get five tunas? Okay, so the fishing's really easy. Yay, we got another fish! We got salmon! But yeah, I haven't seen anybody play this game, so I was a little bit worried, and then when I put it on and it was like, there was a lot of information, like, before you got into the actual gameplay, and, well, by a lot of information, I mean it was just like overly explaining very basic mechanics, at least very basic gaming mechanics to me. I was slightly concerned that it was just going to be a very bad game, and then the way the character walked as well had me worried, but once you get used to it, it's actually not a big deal at all. I wonder what we can use the fish for, probably for a new shop that we're going to have to build. Alright, we got more salmon. Hey, it's the guy that was on the other side of the island. That was him, wasn't it? I swear he had a little bandana on. His name's Hugo. I heard you were working on building an island, Lady Lulu. If you run into any trouble, please call me. I love that everyone calls me Lady Lulu. I feel like a princess. And I suppose we should harvest the wheat as well so we can feed our chickens. There's actually a lot of things to do. <laughs> there we go. We fed all of the chickens. I'm actually really obsessed with all the little outfits the little bunny villagers make. Though I would like to see some more villagers that aren't rabbits. You guys know how much I love rabbits. I love that all of them have been rabbits so far, but I'd like to see another animal. I'm not sure if there actually will be other animals, but that would be really cute to see some other animal villagers as well. And our yard is finally done! So now we can go make the dress, which has been my goal since we started. I'm very excited. I'd actually really like the dress that Katrina's wearing. It's super cute. But yeah, now we can go into fashion. And we can craft this dress and, of course, now we've unlocked even more! What do we need to make this? 
many red dye. Well, now we're getting the hang of it, I think it's going to be a lot easier. Oh wow, there's even more as well. Look how cute this is. It'll be so perfect for winter time. Reminds me of a ice skater dress. But for now, let's create the opal azalea dress. There's also really cute little hair accessories. And now we can finally change our dress. I feel like the main motivation to unlock all this stuff in the game is not only to decorate your island, but to unlock recipes for clothes. That's so fun. Like every aspect of this game, you have to like work hard to Get it? You don't just get to buy a dress, you have to go craft the stuff to make the dress. So you end up spending a long time playing. I didn't expect to play this game for as long as I have, but now I can finally wear the flowery dress! Hooray! So that was the start of this game. What did you guys think about it? Please let me know in the comments. I was a little bit concerned at first, but once you actually get into playing this game, it's really surprised me how much fun it is and how addicting it is. Um, I thought it looked really cute from the front cover and then I was just a little bit worried when I first started playing it, but it's actually really, really cute. If you're wondering whether I'd recommend buying this game, I'd say what you need to know about it is the gameplay is very simple. It's really just collect things, craft things, decorate. And I do think it's lacking some things like the appeal of the Animal Crossing graphics. I just think the graphics in this game are very poor when you compare it to other games in the same genre. And the lack of diversity in the characters in the game. Obviously, there's your character and the princesses, but there seems to be only rabbits, which, don't get me wrong, I love rabbits, but I think when you compare it to other games in this genre, it's just lacking a little bit in that area. But even though the graphics in this game are arguably not as good as other games in this genre, I feel they do actually have their own charm. I don't know why, but this game really reminds me of like old Facebook games I used to play when I was a kid, so it's very nostalgic for me. Maybe some of you who are around the same age as me get that sort of nostalgic vibe from this game for some reason. I really love how feminine and girly this game is. I love the pink everything, the pink tools. Um, everything has ribbons and hearts and sparkles and it's cute. You guys know I love girly games and I want more girly games on the Switch, so I do love that aspect of it. When I first went into this game, I was quite worried. I thought it looked quite different to what I was expecting, mainly the graphics and just the way the game was presented, overly explaining very basic gaming mechanics. I think if you were buying this for a child, that would be perfect because they might not know how to play the game. I do think this is a perfect game for little girls. If I had like a five to 10 year old niece, I would definitely want to buy her this game because I think it's adorable. I think it's a great alternative to Animal Crossing if you're a young girl. It may not have all of the aspects of Animal Crossing, it's missing a lot of charm and things that those games have, but you can tell it was very inspired by Animal Crossing and it does have that same vibe. I'd say if you could find this game on sale, I'd consider picking it up. I wouldn't go out of my way to spend a lot of money on this game, but it is really fun and honestly, I was so surprised by how addicted I got to this game. It's really, really fun to just continue collecting things, crafting things, and I had a lot of fun playing it. I was quite surprised by that, so that's my honest thoughts on this game. I'd say it's definitely not for everyone. Definitely targeted towards children, but if you're like me and you just love cute, childlike games, I suppose, <laughs> then you can play it as well. I'm gonna be 25 in a week or so, and I thought this game was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd say anyone can play this. Obviously, it's targeted towards young women and girls because you can't play as a male character. If you're a man and you wanna play as a cute princess, I think you should. Thank you so much to Numbskull Games for sending me this game again. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I just love to see more games that are like Animal Crossing because I love Animal Crossing, so. I think Pretty Princess Magical Garden Island is a very cute game. Love the rabbits, love the princesses. If you like mobile games, I think you'll definitely love this game as well. It's very much like a mobile game. So if you're here on my channel for my Animal Crossing Pocket Camp content and you're a Pocket Camp player, I think you'd love this game. I get a lot of messages from people who started with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and don't like New Horizons because they like the more Pocket Camp aspect to Animal Crossing. They like all the um, time crafting and the simpler aspect to the game. So. If you prefer more simple games, I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's very simple, very cute, and um, if you can get it on sale, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot better than it looks, actually. <laughs> Before I go for today, I would just like to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. I love and appreciate you all so, so much, and I'm so grateful for all your support. Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't know, if you join my Patreon, you get early access to my videos along with many other benefits, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. If you'd like to support me another way, you can simply just like this video or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and it'd help me out a bunch, so I'd really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments how you're doing today. I'd love to hear what you've been up to. Hope you're having a super lovely day. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>